Hi, this is Luke for Production Expert. Double or triple tracking is often used to thicken up parts and to add some interest or movement to things. Here's my track with two vocal parts. We've got the main part and one part an octave up as well. And both of those are double tracked. And that's achieved simply by recording things more than once to double up or to triple up the parts. You can fake it with a plug-in, but which is better? Listen for yourself. And here are my two octave parts in isolation. Gonna keep on seeing people around. Cause I guess there's just no way of knowing. So if I mute the double track, I can use a plugin instead. In this case, I'm using Vox Doubler from Sonox. Let's have a listen. Gonna keep on seeing people around. Cause I guess there's just no way of knowing. So I've got the mix control turned up to 100% because my double track in real life would be around about the same level as the original. So I've turned that all the way up. I've tweaked the timing, pitch, depth and tone controls of Vox Doubler just to try and reintroduce some of the imperfections of the original performance. So the timing wasn't too bad, but I have increased the pitch inaccuracy a little bit just to match the original. And I'm also finding that the depth and tone controls are very useful in giving it an organic feel just like the real thing. And so if I put an instance across my lead vocal as well, I have very convincing double tracking across two parts for my entire vocal stack. So with real double tracking. And with fake double tracking. So when you do have access to a high quality doubler, you have a viable alternative to real double tracking. Very useful, especially for when the singer has gone home. To find out more about double tracking and faking it, head over to the Production Experts blog.